Good morning to everyone that's joined us. Just give you a couple more minutes so everyone can join. I think that's a that's a couple minutes now. Hopefully we have everyone. So let's start. So good morning, everyone. Firstly, thank you all for joining us this morning. Welcome to the second in our series of Sikla webinars. Within this webinar, we'll be presenting you with our Simatech industrial pipe supports. The objective of today is to present you with an overview of our key products, some of their key applications, and how to benefit from their adjustability and their availability. Firstly, some introductions. My name is Ross Smith and I'm a senior design engineer here at Cicla UK. I joined the company in 2018 as part of a large scale energy from waste project, which I was involved with and Cicla were involved with. Prior to that, I was a piping engineer in the petrochem and oil and gas industry for roughly 10 years. Today, I'll be joined by my colleagues, Alicia Ovchonikov and Marek Vargapau, who I'll now give a short moment to, to introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Alicia, and I'll be one of your speakers today. I joined the company as a CAD technician four years ago, and now work as a member of design engineering team here at CICLA. Hi, my name is Marek Vargapau, and I am here today to assist Ross and Alicia by replying to your questions. My background is in mechanical engineering, um, and after graduating from uni, I worked as site engineer for about two years um, on energy from waste projects. And for the last five years, I worked at CICLA as a project engineer. Mm -hmm. To raise your questions, uh, please use Q&A function as indicated on your screens. And feel free to raise the questions throughout the whole webinar. And also at the end, we will have a um, some time dedicated just to your questions. Okay, thank you, Marek and Alicia. So during the webinar, we're going to address the following points. Number one, why are modular pipe supports are needed on your projects? Types of adjustable pipe shoes, which we offer, our design and planning software tools, some project examples, and finally, leaving time for a summary and Q&A session where Marek will be on hand to answer questions as he's just mentioned. However, I'll point out again that during the webinar, the chat function will be disabled. So please post your questions in the Q&A box provided, just which you can see on screen, rung there in green. Okay, let's start. So why modular pipe supports? Let me begin with a typical example to show you how implementing Cicla's adjustable pipe shoes can benefit your project from the early planning stage. Adjustability. So even with the best will and intentions during engineering, be it through 3D model reviews, analysis of thermal expansion, quality checks of isometrics and support steel drawings, there is still potential for situations like the above to occur at site. Maybe because thermal expansion had not been interpreted correctly, maybe the primary support had not been correctly spec'd, maybe small tolerances had just been lost here and there like the pipe spool you see had been cut a little shorter than it should have been, or the concrete plinth had shrunk or settled. Or maybe perhaps something else was just overlooked during engineering. But for all or any of the above reasons, a situation may arise where you need to move the support up or down a little. Yes, there are some retrofit options available here, but this will ultimately lead to wastage, be it in time, money, or materials. That's adjustability. So availability, unlike fixed height pipe shoes, which are generally made to order, we stock our range of pipe shoes in-house, as you can see from the photograph, which are available as an off-the-shelf item. <clears throat> Thank you, Ross. So let's have a look at the range of adjustable pipe shoes. Our smallest of the range represented here by LHV, size ranges between DN15 and DN150, which is also equivalent to half inch to six inch pipe size. As you can see, it is our single clamp solution. Middle of the range is LCHV. For this shoe type, the size has been extended up to DN300, which is also equivalent to 12 inch pipe size. And this is a double clamp solution. 
And of course, largest of the range, LDHV, size ranges between DN200 and DN600, which is also equivalent to 8 inch to 24 inch pipe size. Because of the size of this range, the shoe required a dual base. Of the shelf, the shoe comes supplied in three standard heights, 90 millimeters, 150 millimeters, and 200 millimeters. This is from the base of the shoe to the bottom of the pipe clamp. So across the range, we have a total height adjustability of 88.5 millimeters to 223.5 millimeters. So how do we adjust the height? There are notches in the upper and lower parts of the shoe, which allow incremental height adjustment of 2.5 millimeters. When the required height is set, the top and bottom half are secured by two M12 fixings. Each shoe comes supplied with a removable slide plate, which is made from glass reinforced nylon. The shoe plate is 250 millimeters long and 100 millimeters wide. All shoes are hot dip galvanized as standard and easy to install on site without the need of specialists or welders. Thank you very much for that, Alicia. So our standard pipe shoe range can be applied in three types of pipe support scenarios. The first is a sliding solution indicated in the two top right images. In this arrangement, the shoe can act as a rest or make use of the nylon slide plate provided, which Alicia just mentioned. The second is a guided solution indicated in the two middle images. In this arrangement, the shoe is used in conjunction with a dedicated guiding bracket to restrict lateral movement without limiting axial movement. The third is a fixed point solution indicated in the bottom two images. And in this arrangement, the shoe is paired with a dedicated fixed point bracket, which restricts both axial and lateral movement of the shoe. Sickler's adjustable shoes and their bracketry are suitable for use with both our Ciframo box profile and traditional steel. When using traditional steel, the fixed points and guides accommodate I-beam flange widths from 80 millimeters to 300 millimeters wide and flange thicknesses up to 30 millimeters thick. Thank you, Ross. Uh, Cicla has a full range of planning tools to aid the design of primary and secondary supports. This includes many of the leading software platforms from which a pipe support catalog is available to access through dedicated and developed plugins. AutoCAD, for example, uses plugin called Kodinas. We, have, we also have access to Revit, Aviva PDMS, Integraph SP3D, and Aviva E3D. Please contact our field sales or our engineering team for further details on any of these plugins. Cicla also has an online BIM portal, which allows the, for individual CAD blocks to be accessed online and downloaded into your preferred CAD format. Links to this website can be issued on demand to those who are interested. Thanks very much again, Alicia. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at some project examples and how we have implemented our pipe supports into them. Cicla have a strong history in the building services sector. However, our industrial pipe supports can be used on almost all types of project. Today, we have identified four main project sectors which benefit from the use of Cicla's adjustable pipe supports, as well as other types of supports within our standard range. Here are several project examples and their applications within each sector. Thank you, Ross. Firstly, let's have a look at the chemical and pharma sector. Cicla are currently working with global clients in the chemical and pharmaceutical sector, from working with design houses and planning engineers to working with clients directly. We have many references and logistical concepts to offer you. In image one, you can see one of our pipe shoes being used in combination with cantilever and the Ciframo F100-160 upright, bearded rigidity. And in image two, we have a fixed point bracket being used on Framo F8030 crossbar while still requiring, requiring a Framo F80 upright and base connection at grade. And finally, in image three, is a cantilever secured to an I-beam using a bolt through connection. 
However, in this instance, the shoe is inverted due to the space limitation, but is still able to slide due to the use of the guiding bracket. Thanks very much for that, Alicia. So the second sector, gents, is the power generation and energy from waste. We are currently heavily involved in pipe supports from the water steam cycle and general piping systems of two significant energy from waste projects in the UK and in Europe. Our largest project, for example, included the supply of almost 2,000 cycler pipe shoes. In the first image, we have a guided pipe shoe on a cantilever, which is secured directly to the I-beam using the appropriate end plate and one of our beam clamping sets. In image two, you can see we have various pipe shoes resting on the Ciframo profile. The profile is secured to the flange of the primary steel using our U-holder brackets. Notice that because the profile is square, the shoes and guides can be orientated both vertically and horizontally on the same profile. In image three, we see a series of pipe shoes used to support a sloped header pipe under T-posts made from our Ciframo. This design, albeit conventional, offers a very strong support solution, which can also accommodate the slope of the header by incrementally adjusting the height of the pipe shoes. Let's have a look at utilities and water sector. CICLA engaged with many of the UK national water companies and specialist principal contractors. We also work closely with CICLA Solutions Partner, who have developed a series of compatible custom connection, including for use on this type of project. In image one, we see two DM200 pipes running low through wastewater treatment plant. Once again, the customer required the high adjustability of our shoe because of different chainage of the pipeline. And in image two, we have something a little different. It is a short Ciframo goalpost secured directly to the edge of, this, of the submerged valve pit. The rising pipe is secured in place using the U-bolt and the U-bolt docking bracket assembly. And finally, in image three, we have the opposite end of the DN200 pipes at the wastewater treatment plant. Here, a series of goalposts were used to support the ele elevated pipe shoes. Precise adjustment is achieved here in two ways, from the pipe shoe itself and also with the high adjustable Ciframo crossbar connection. Thank you very much again, Alicia. And in the final sector that we'd like to share with you is the petrochem and oil and gas sector, an industry which is very similar to power generation and energy from waste. However, piping in these industries will typically involve more exotic materials, more large bore pipes and much higher temperatures. Our adjustable pipe supports introduced to you so far are suitable for temperatures up to 350 degrees Celsius and are suitable for most pipe support solutions. But when there is a requirement for temperatures which exceed 350 degrees Celsius or for pipe sizes above our standard range, we can also supply bespoke engineered pipe supports as you require them. In the first project example here, we have two process pipes running tightly to the ceiling of an interior building. We see both an L bracket on the left and a goalpost on the right secured directly to the adjacent I beam using our widest end plate and our beam clamping set. Notice that we also picked up the smaller offtake there on the right using an additional cantilever bracket. And in the second image, we have a photo of a bank of process pipes running through a pipe rack, all being supported from the very same primary beam at a common top of steel. Notice the differing height of the pipe shoes as well as the different pipe clamp sizes. And the final image I'd like to share with you guys is to illustrate the use of Sickler's adjustable pipe shoes in combination with the higher temperature custom-made pipe shoes I just mentioned, all being supported from the very same Ciframo made goalpost, so there is no compatibility issues using the two. We'll be very pleased for you to reach out to us if any of these sectors are your primary business and look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, Ross. So let me just summarize the webinar for you. We introduced you to the Simotech pipe shoe range with the benefits being incremental high adjustability and off the shelf availability across the whole range. We also introduced you to various accessories for pipe shoes, 
guiding brackets and fixed point solutions, both options being available for use with CIFRAMO and traditional STIL. Are the Cyclo 5 support, which you can find in the catalogs, are a rod hanger load chain assembly, which is a Cyclo's adjustable length pipe hanger, available in pipe clamp sizes 22 millimeters OD to 324 millimeters OD for use with CIFRAMO and traditional steel. And also a wide variety of Cyclo assembly groups, which are high adjustable, compact, and very easy to install for use with CIFRAMO profile, channel profile, and common steel. It is also worth mentioning while we have this extract from catalog available, that Cicla can also supply pre-insulated pipe shoes, LKHV, which are available in sizes DN25 to DN300 in a single or double clamp options. I'd also like to point out that we offer a variation of guiding brackets to be used by Ciframa beam section in combination with non cicla shoe. And now the floor is yours. We have Marek Vargapal on hand to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you, Alicia. And thank you, Ross, for the interesting and practical introduction of our pipe supports. It must have really been interesting and everyone was listening because it was rather quiet on my end with questions, but that's not a problem. However, I would like to encourage you to take your opportunity and raise your questions or concerns in the next few minutes. And um, I will do my best to address most of them. That can include uh, pipe support types, which you normally use on your projects, uh, but perhaps were mentioned here due to time limitations. So, Coming back to the questions, um, there are a few coming through. Um, so first one, do you offer pipe work flexibility analysis? Um, that's a really good question and it's relevant for uh, pipe supports. Um, our niche um, is in modular steel work and supports. So I believe um, the pipe work flexibility analysis would be rather done by the pipe engineering company or pipe design company who have uh, software um, which is um, specialized in this kind of analysis. So short answer is um, no, we wouldn't normally do that, but we can recommend companies who have the capacity to perform such analysis. I hope that um, answers your question, Michal. Um, The next one is, um, do you offer spring supports? Yes, um, we can uh, supply spring supports. Um, they are not standard Cicla product, but uh, we, have, we, co we do cooperate with a company who is specialized in this kind of products, um, which I believe makes sense because our intention is to provide also a complete uh, pipe support package. So, um, from framework through pipe su primary supports, including these um, spring supports or constant hangers. Mm, that would include also various temperatures depending on the project requirements. Um, so yeah, we can offer it as a complete package. Um, another question is um, also we normally require seismic supports and it's proof. Um, yeah, that's, um, that's very relevant, uh, especially in certain parts of the world. I'm not sure where exactly are you based, uh, Hussein, but um, we had recently a project in Istanbul, which is seismically very active area. Um, we have um, ongoing business also in uh, New Zealand and that part of the world, which is also seismically very active. Um, so yes, we do have uh, experience with it. What is important to say that depending on the location, there are different requirements. So some, in some places, um, we can cover the requirements which are given by, by the standards of the given country. In other places, we might um, involve third party who is certified by the given country to do these seismic tests. So. Um, it really depends on the location, but um, 
yes, we have the capacity to uh, do the structural checks, certainly for the seismic, mm, seismic, seismically active um, situations. Um, another question that came through. Oh, I see. Um, this is actually responded. I mean, Pakistan are, um, we are still partners here. Okay, that's that's good to know, uh, Hussein. So in that case, I personally, I don't have experience with uh, seismic uh, calculations or projects in Pakistan, uh, but that's not a problem. We can have a look into it and um, we'll get back in touch with you directly if you don't mind, because um, I can't give you a hundred percent correct answer right now. I hope that's okay. Um, okay, another question is um, regarding thermal pipe expansion. Um, yeah, that makes sense uh, since you are familiar with our software. That is great. Um, and you are right. Um, CPLAN is not um, the kind of software you would use for your thermal expansion. However, again, I would, I would say, and many, many piping engineers would agree with me in saying thermal expansion is rather separate niche, uh, which there are companies dedicated to thermal expansion, or um, it is, again, piping engineering company uh, who would um, look into it alongside with other piping related uh, engineering or analysis. So we can recommend a company who can do that and who we work with as well. Um, it wouldn't be ourselves doing this analysis directly. But there is, we can work with the results of these um, analysis and we can provide uh, piping support solutions which are appropriate um, for the results. Okay. Another question is, um, can we have um, your catalogs, please? Um, yeah, sure, you can have catalogs, um, Danielle. I would, because we are trying to go paperless, uh, I'm sure many people will, be, will appreciate that. Um, these catalogs are available on our website, sikla.co.uk, uh, as you can see on your screens. And um, there is on the right hand side of your screens, there should be a new catalog uh, dedicated to this topic we are talking about today, industrial pipe supports, that includes catalog and also some technical guidelines for using these. Um, so we'd like to encourage you to use digital version, but which is also safer from, uh, from the current situation in the world. But uh, should you still want paper version, it's not a problem, just uh, get in touch with us directly using the email address, Milton at Cicla. .co.uk and we'll look into it. Um, we have time for maybe one or two more questions. So another question is, um, what is the difference between LA, LC and LD type of pipe shoes? That's, that's a good practical question. And um, uh, Ross, if I may ask you to scroll yeah. a little bit where those three are uh, illustrated, please. Yeah, perfect, this one, thank you. So LA, LC and LD type, as, can, as you can see visually, they are different. So LA type uh, is single clump, LC type is double clump, LD type is double clump and double base plate type shoe. Um, as you can probably tell, the main difference will be also in loading capacity each of these pipe shoes have. Um, what I would maybe mention is that there is also a clamping range limitation. So the LA goes up to the 150, which is approximately six inch. And then the LC type goes up to 300. And then up to 600 standard pipe shoe is LD type. Um, if you need, we can uh, manufacture also bigger diameters, or if you need, we can manufacture these pipe shoes from different materials. So um, that will comply with the temperatures um, of the pipe work. Um, that shouldn't be a problem. We have experience with that as well. 
Um, just out of interest, um, the, cap uh, the loading capacity for the lo biggest pipe shoe LDE type is approximately around 30 kilonewtons, which is quite, quite good capacity. It's about three tons. Um, so maybe um, one more question. Um, can your pipe supports um, can can your pipe supports be used on MAPRES piping? Uh, the answer is yes. Um, we currently are working on a project which um, is using MAPRES piping very heavily. It's specifically it's um, stainless steel uh, MAPRES pipes, which um, maybe well I'm sure you are aware they have uh, different outside diameters than what we are used to. Uh, in industrial piping, for example. So um, we had to look into our clamping ranges, select the right clamps and, um, and uh, dedicate the range to those. So I can tell that, I can say honestly that um, between the diameters DN15 and DN100, which is the MAPRES stainless steel range, we can cover all, all pipe sizes. So that's not a problem. And that's also implemented in our software, um, which um, my colleague Alicia uh, presented earlier. Okay. I believe we, have, we are running out of time and we promise to have only half an hour of your day today. Um, and we like to keep our promises. So we will finish the Q&A section now. Uh, but I would like to encourage you uh, to contact us directly using the email address on your screens, Keens at cicla.co.uk, with any questions or inquiries that come to your mind or you come across in the future. And either one of us or one of our colleagues will be of assistance to you. And the last information from my side is an announcement, which is an exciting announcement, is that all standard pipe shoes, as you have seen, as you have seen here today, are now available the same day X Works in Ireland and the UK. And now I will hand back over to Ross to conclude our webinar. Okay, thank you, Marek, and thank you, Alicia. And thank you all for attending and interacting with us today. We'll send you a link to the recorded session so you can revisit it at your leisure. However, if you require more details about this topic immediately, as Marek's already mentioned during the Q&A session, we have recently released an industrial pipe supports catalogue, which is a free PDF to download from our website, or as someone mentioned, a hard copy can be sent to you upon request. We also post regular dedicated articles detailing a whole range of product benefits on our blog, which can be found on our website. We like to keep you up to date with news about recent projects and application on our LinkedIn page, Cicla. UKI Oceana, which you can see on screen. If you do have any other queries, Max already mentioned, but please feel free to contact our team through Milton Keynes at cicla.co.uk or the phone number you can see on screen. Now, after the presentation, you'll be direct, directed to a quick survey allowing you to give your opinion about this webinar, but also allowing you to let us know how we did um, as presenters and provide us with any suggestions for any future webinars that you may like to hear from us. But for now, guys, that is all we have for you today. Once again, thank you for listening and participating and have a great day.